Hi YouTubers. Well, I'm gonna be running my uh, self queen <laughs> Ar Arma uh, crate in here. So uh, I guess you've seen my other cars there, Arma Typhon, uh, Chuggerfly Typhon, Arma Italian, and uh, Outcast. Uh, so anyway, this is the one I'm gonna be running. I'm gonna be running with uh, regular backflip tires there. So uh, kind of brand new yet. So I think I'm gonna. Oh, did I vent it? Yeah, I vent that guy right there. See that hole? So one on each side vented there so there's another hole right there so both side one end back here and then you tape the tires on the inside yeah so with the gorilla tape or something on the holes there so that you can shoot out the water if you have to run it into the water so they say um, you know not to shoot clean the uh, rc cars with water yeah but these um, um vlx um ecs and motor and um a uh, uh, steering servo are waterproof but of course you don't want to submerge them in water People say, oh, you'll mess up your uh, ECS. And uh, I think they put some foul language. I don't do any bad foul language on my YouTube there. So uh, try not to swear on my YouTube channel there. Uh, anyway, uh, and, and um, what they say, you're going to mess it up. It doesn't. Look, I still have it. And I still have it ever since my first Arma Italian, uh, Italian uh, V2 one, about four, maybe for about three to four years ago. Uh, still working and that's how I clean them and if you see my video how and I how I clean my armors you can see that and it doesn't ruin the electronics at all the main thing you have a strong blow dryer right and all that stuff that you have together before you do that kind of style of cleaning and of course you tape the the tires in here uh, and when you uh, when you wash your car inside here because you don't want the water to go inside a foam when you wash the tires too. And I'll show you on a different style of cleaning the tires later on in another video there. So I'm gonna be running this guy. Um, and it's on a uh, 6S Hobby Star. And, and uh, uh, we're gonna be running this car right here. Okay, here I go. Okay, here I go. We're gonna be running this uh, Creighton. Uh, just a fun run uh, with uh, Hobby Star uh, uh, 6S uh, 4800 uh, MH. Uh, uh, battery there, success. Oh, whoa. Boy, they're not joking when it's a speed monster truck, man. This fast. Well, I have it on a, uh, not stuck, uh, Opinion gear. I think I have it on a 17 tooth Robinson racing uh, I said there on a spur uh, Opinion gear. So so anyway, here we go. Maybe a couple jumps and so forth <laughs> So good. here we go Hang on. Ah, oh, you want to flip it? Okay, this is a uh, my daughter Faith. She's always with me, making trouble. <laughs> no, good. Okay, here we go. Oh, hey, there's wheelies on the uh, um, on the backflip tires there, so <laughs> easily. Oh wow! It jumps really well. Oh my goodness! I don't know if you caught that on a tire uh, on the on the camera. It went way up high. There we go. 
Oh wow! Jump over my head. I know. What? Well, right there, it landed right there, and that's about wow. It's, it's I didn't even gun it at all. It was like half throttle, and that's about 60 feet, 65 feet over there. So it's looking one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, about 60 feet. And on that, on that, from that jump, just so easy. I think. Yeah, the backflip tires are just good on the Creighton. I mean. I mean, the Minwakis are fine, they're okay, but this one just changes it, everything. I wonder if the LP, the new ones that came out, this little bit smaller one would be a good fit for this car also. So anyway, uh, we got this one going here, so we're going to keep on driving it. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> oh, back here. Oh, I love this car. My goodness. No wonder they say Creighton is like one of the cars to have. It's big. It's the biggest of the Arma 6S there. Uh, well, now the new one came out. Uh, the uh, infraction or something, that new one. They can be built also to become a 7 scale. I think J JC, uh, he has his own YouTube. Shout out to him, brother. Uh, he built one with that uh, infraction. Uh, the, the new one and it, just with the chassis and put on the other components in it to become a, 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 like a, tr a monster truck and it's bigger than this so I wonder if armor is going to be running but this one man it's just an awesome car I, I know you guys noticed that if you've seen it I have the, that special brace that I put on the car that's why I that's why I jump them high and let me show you guys I mean hope, hopefully M suit C chassis and all those guys they're, they're good chassis to support the car also I think, but if you don't have, you gotta put one like this. Mine is a custom made because I'm a, a uh, um, metal engineering in Hawaii when I used to do metal stud framing for the buildings, and then it's almost similar to building a bridge. You know, there's a uh, San Francisco bridge thing for support. But of course, you need hot racing uh, 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 chassis braces here, like front and back. I have a hot racing uh, uh, what you call a uh, uh, diff um, uh, diff case in the back also. And then uh, and so forth like that, and hot racing um, uh, um, uh, wing mount there. So that's why they're all metal, and that's why it supports this whole thing. So it goes connecting all together, and a very not bent at all. I mean, it always keep it straight, also. So you know, and that's why this is good. But if you have a, like an M2C chassis, uh, what do you call it, and then the other bash it only uh, chassis, you might not need this right here. So, but if I do, I still might have to put this on. It'll be almost indestructible. Because you see all my other armor cars, I fly them, man. I, I mean, especially at the BMX, my um, my my uh, Italian and my Outcast, I fly them. I, it goes about 50 feet in the air. I'm not joking you on that. You have to be there to see that. This right now, on this ramp, it's probably only going about 25 feet up in the air. So, and, and I know uh, the... And then I know people on the other YouTube can account for that because their cars can go up that high and I see it And other guys like uh, RC dude 81 and my buddy here uh, my hometown buddy our, uh, Rich Duberbash, you know who that guy is <laughs> Cool guy really cool guy really nice uh, And T-Dog and those guys are those awesome racing cars anyway I'm gonna be running it again so here we go and so you see this chassis brace uh, um, Tower to tower brace that's what keeps the chassis straight there so but I might be running a um, uh, M2C chassis or a uh, uh, just bash it chassis uh, with the you know 
they have the aluminum uh, um, 70, 70 71 um, um uh what you call it, air, air air grade uh, metal there so so that's a good one there too also so those guys are good here we go I'll do up a couple more jumps and then yeah, you, you go from there. Oh wow! Ho -ho. Here we go there. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> man, man, what this thing can do. Oh my goodness. Let me try another jump. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay, and the, um, the, I bulletproof my, um, what you call the, um, my gears there, the center. You know, you add those extra shims there because the V3 don't comes with the shim. The V4, they come shim, but sometimes you want to check also on them because sometimes I heard some guys in a factory that it didn't come in shimmed which which they add uh, an extra uh, shim on a planetary gear and a satellite gear so you put uh, one extra on each post gear the spider gear and then you put two satellite shim gears that which is uh, the back of the, the diff case there so you, I mean you got to look at the videos on like uh, Thomas P uh, TP parts he'll show you exactly and then Rich River Bash also that shows that also here we go I'm going to do another jump here Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> That's why the body is so, uh, supported and reinforced. That's why it's called Arma Tough, baby. Oh, wow! That wasn't even hard. And it cleared like 90 feet. All the way down here, 90 feet easily. Man, I think the tires on this uh, on this car right here is just awesome with it, and uh, the back flips it changes it up really good. I know the shock waves are good too because they're plush, but I think this one just has a uh, noarsha. No, they call that uh, like momentum. No, noarsha. They said like in the BMX bike guys because these are BMX kind of tread tires on this guy, and it just it just climbs it, man. That's 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 far. It landed right about here. I, I think that's about a hundred feet right there. Uh, this is because this place is big. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm so sure. Wow. Yeah, this car is just awesome. Oh, there goes the tags. <laughs> this sticker of the stuff there. But anyway, they come off anyway, so this car is just an awesome car, guys, uh, and I just love it. So, 
Anyway guys, bash on and this is the V3 Italian with the, all the super upgrades that I put in there. Uh, in hot, you know, metal, uh, a lot of aluminum, so front diff case, aluminum, uh, hubs, and everything. I think you've seen my other video of what I put on this car before I ran it. That's why it, it, it runs well. And that's part of the hobby, kind of spin a little bit, but man, even though out of the box, like this, whoever buys that stock, the, v, the V4s and all that, Man, they're, they're awesome. They're I'm just 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 a thumbs up to Arma, to Arma. You know what? This is a this is my second time driving the Creighton, but with the with the um, the backflip tires there. Uh, and and uh, what you call? Hi, hi, Faith. Be careful, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's just awesome with that. I'm gonna try it with the um, LP tires or the smaller tires also. But man, this one is just look like it's just perfect with this. So I'm I'm loving the tires with this. Uh, the with uh, backflip tires all right god bless take care and bash on my brothers